So not everything you do on a boat is fun or easy or safe. It can actually get dangerous pretty quickly. Like the other day, Brayden was stepping on to the boat from Atlantic Yacht Basin, just from the dock with a hose and the, the boat moved and he slipped and he fell and hit his shin and his head on something on the boat. And he now has a concussion. We're just taking it easy, but you have to understand that. Like things can just all of a sudden, I don't know, or get dangerous so quickly and he's okay. But it's these little things along the way that make it challenging that are unexpected. So as long as you're prepared for that to be flexible, <laughs> if a concussion occurs, then you should be able to handle boat life. Moved up to York River Yacht Haven and it's not a bad spot, but we're itching to get out of here because of the wind and the rain. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. What are you doing, Brock? Yeah, so, I'm cruising on the intra coastal waterway, and we have what they call a mustache, but it's fine, you can be in it. She has a knife has like a knife right knife over her head. Yeah. She's the lemon server. And I, when we were at Trawler Fest, I remember I was on the women's panel, and someone had brought this up like, how do you get rid of that mustache? Because sometimes it's on the front. And they said that that develops um, if your boat's not properly waxed. However, we we just waxed our boat, but I think the water was just so brackish and it's supposedly the tannins in the water. So it turned our whole swim platform just yellow, like yellow, yellow. So what you do is you grab a lemon, you cut it in half, which my mom's chopping lemons over there, spray the juice on, and then scrub, and it comes right out. I haven't, I hope it doesn't ruin anything else, but I don't think it will, it's lemons. It's lemons because they're so good for your enamel on your teeth. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Do you want to come show them the difference here side by side? <sighs> now, and it kind of just automatically, you can see this spotty, like it just, if you spray the juice on it, just eats it up. Wild, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Shows you don't need crazy chemicals. Lemon's not bad for the ocean. Mm, you've got a moldy lemon. Perfect. After spending a day in Hampton with my parents, we decided to go up to York River Yacht Haven Marina for a change while we waited out some bad weather before we could make the big jump north up to Newport. When leaving the dock, it is important to have your ducks in a row, for lack of a better expression. Make sure you have your marriage saver headsets on, as well as an exit plan. This sounds overambitious, but trust me, talk it over with your captain before you leave so he or she can explain to you what order you want the lines to be released in. Pay attention to wind and current before you make that decision.
almost in. We're going to York, York River, Yacht Haven. Uh, there were some bad waves on the on the nose there, but it's a lot more calm now, a little bit more of a fall at sea, and we're in a more protected area. We should be in about 45 minutes. The problem is, is that there's absolutely no depth going in, just the, the tide. So we hope we don't bump the bottom. All right, so um, because we have the time, it's a little early, but we have the time to do it. It's a little easier to get rid of the oil because we had to run a car because we're waiting for weather. We got the oil filters changed. We're gonna do the fuel filters, put all new oil in the main engines as well as the generator and um, clean everything up and make it nice. Just kind of trying to get everything done that we can while we have all the access because I think we're going to be at anchor for a while or maybe a morning ball but we'll see but this is the easiest place to get it done all right we have the blower on in here but we'll check a few different things okay we just want to make sure we're good First, we're checking the bilge to make sure there's no fluids or anything that shouldn't be in the bilge. In the bilge, and because we're in very dirty water, the bilge is really dirty, um, which is normal. But we'll check the belts, make sure that they're good. We'll check the coolant on both of the engines to make sure that it's off, off right. Check the fuel filters, make sure that there's no gunk in there. They look good. These gauges will show if the fuel filters got deep high pressure and they have not, which is good. Um, I kind of know what leaks and things like that are normal. I want to change all the all the diapers underneath. Nice. But I know what's because we've been running pretty constantly, I know what to what's normal and what needs to be addressed. We'll check the oil in both of the engines. Make sure that it's top off right. Every once in a while you'll have to add a little just to get it to the right, the right level. We check the fuel right here in the day tank to make sure that the, that the day tank has fuel in it. We check the return lines right here to make sure that the return lines are right. It's going to return to the center forward. We'll go under here and we'll look at the strainer. And we'll make sure that the through holes are open. I just cleaned the strainer, so I know they're going to be good, but it's always just good practice to go through each time. And the two, two through holes are open and the strainer the fuel lines over there are correct. Okay, just do a visual to make sure that everything appears right. There's no hoses that are leaking. Definitely want to go through and clean everything. But this you really want to check underway, but we just make sure that it looks right on the right levels right now. But the true uh, level would be 
as the engine's running if you want to check it right. You want to make sure you get all the dipsticks back in all the way. Because if you don't, you'll have a big mess. Person from Parent Trap. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Meredith. It's seriously what right might do. You need to be clanking two sticks together. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. The next few days, we spent our time exploring the area in dreary weather. York was a pretty neat little town, and when I say town, I mean street. They had an excellent restaurant, though. We also went into Williamsburg for dinner one evening. Williamsburg not only has a super cute, quaint little colonial town, but it also has a historic theme park, which happened to be open, I think, because we were strolling and found ourselves inside the park somehow. Of course, Penn gave the poor colonial actors a run for their money when they had to come up with clever responses as to why they were wearing medical masks during the 1600s. Oh, Where Penn. are you guys? Where is this? Where are you? Someone tell me where we are. I think he just wants to be fed before we pass. Are you gonna hurt us if we walk by? You gonna you gonna bite us? Take him to the, to the hospital. Hey, buddy. Just go behind. There you go. Just nice and quiet. You don't want him scared. <laughs> Look at his wing, see? It's her. How can you tell such a Because of her coloring. The boys are, it's a mallard duck. Five mile ride. Five low miles? No, probably like two, three. We're probably almost halfway. You've been waiting two years? Yes, You've been waiting for a cat for your whole life? Yes. Don't let him walk off the dock, Rooney. What? Texting while walking. Did you recover from your concussion yet? My can yeah. Not it's, really. Uh, yeah. No, I you fine. still don't remember anything. Hey. Well, I remember hurting my leg really bad. Not hitting your head. I remember hitting my head. But I do remember hitting my fat bottom barrel. And your arm. Yeah, my thumb hurts. It feels a lot better now. Thursday, so it uh, looks like most of Wednesday is still bad. Uh, to have that low as it makes it push north with an east or east wind, 18 to 25, necessary 35. Um, but it looks like it's that low weakens and gets closer, and also the high to the north will weaken. Um, Thursday, it's a much lighter southeast uh, wind pattern. I think the seas will be down as well. Yeah, I think Thursday at this point is the earliest reasonable departure to go offshore. So Thursday morning, you think we could leave and then it would be it would improve as we go, most likely? Yeah, it will have improved. Well, you guys, thank you for joining us on our episode. If you've been with us since the beginning, we're impressed. I mean, you've been with us through highs, lows, watch the kids grow, the parents argue, we make up, of course, and you even stick through annoying music like this. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next week.